Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this miniature Palmer clay pavlova cake. I'm going to start off by preparing meringue base and we're going to use baking soda trick for this purpose, the same one that I usually use to make bread stuff. So I'm going to grab a piece of tongue clay and now I'm mixing it with a little bit of cold water and baking soda. I can't give you any exact recipe, so you just have to play with it until you get nice squishy consistency. If your clay is too sticky, add more baking soda. If it's too dry, add a little bit more water. Okay, now I'm going to roll it into a bowl and place it on a piece of aluminum foil. I'm flattening it gently and I'm going to bake it as usual. My meringue is already baked and as you can see a few cracks appeared on the surface and don't worry that's perfectly fine and that's what we were actually going for as pavlova meringue base is usually covered in cracks. I'm going to put it aside and now we can jump into making berries. First I'm going to make raspberries. You want to grab a piece of cherry red clay and roll it into a bowl. Place it on a needle or a toothpick and reshape it slightly into a cone. Take another piece of red clay and roll it into a very thin snake. Using the X-Acto knife or razor, divide it into small pieces and then roll each individual piece into a tiny ball. All you want to do now is to cover a cone-shaped base all over with those tiny little balls. Moving on to blueberries, I'm going to use this piece which I've prepared simply by mixing blue and black clay. Now I'm just going to prepare a whole bunch of these tiny little balls. You can stop here, but if you want to, you can make your blueberries slightly more realistic simply by coating them with baby powder. Real blueberries are not solid blue, they have this lighter and even coating which you can rub off while cleaning them and baby powder can imitate that quite nicely. So you can dust your blueberries with baby powder or take a little bit of powder on your fingers and rub it into already prepared blueberries. And finally, it's time to make strawberries. I'm going to take this little ball of red clay and I'm going to shape a cone. Next, you want to use a needle tool or a toothpick to create dots all over the surface and it's ready. You want to bake all berries according to your clay instructions and in the meantime we can prepare whipped cream. I'm going to mix these tiny pieces of white clay with a little bit of female liquid until I get nice and smooth consistency. Now I'm going to spread my whipped cream on the top of my cake base and I can start adding berries. I've decided to add tiny mint leaves in order to give my cake a nice pop of green color, so I'm going to shape a tiny ball which then I'm going to roll out using my needle tool. Finally, I'm pinching one end to give it a proper shape and I can add it onto the top of my cake. Now, as I've already arranged the berries on the top of my pavlova, I'm going to bake it to harden and secure whipped cream and mint leaves. You want to wait until your creation cools down and then glaze all berries using gloss varnish. And it's ready! I hope you're going to like this video, if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss my upcoming tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. And that's going to be it! Thanks for watching guys, have a great rest of the day and I will see you next week!